guys, um, welcome in. I just want to do a sh quick shout out to Global Green CBD oil, which obviously is a great CBD oil that um, gives uh, that's for vitamins, obviously CBD oil, which has become very popular these days in boxing. It's got a lot of good people in the sport behind it as well. Please check it out, Global Green CBD. They're doing great stuff um, in boxing for sports athletes as well like as a whole, and they're really good, so check them out. Global Green CBD, and they're getting behind a great page here in Travellers Boxers, which is very important for their lives moving forward and whatnot as well, which is really, really good, so get behind it, guys. Um, we're going to keep doing these lives for a while now as well. We've got um, quite a few more shows booked up. Um, I believe today we've got Dennis uh, McCann coming in, which uh, would be good talk about him i know there's some, some, some potential news on him fighting behind closed doors and that which would be good to talk to him about and how he's stayed in good shape which he's in very good shape at the moment still um so so that'd be good to talk to him about that but um yeah global green cbd you guys check out do we have any amateurs that we could we, in here or, or, or pros that we could bring on here for a bit before send a request in guys and we'll bring you on but yeah um global green cbd check it out um, is there anyone, if guys could suggest in the comments who they would like on on the show as well, if you've got any amateurs or pros, um, that are travellers, to uh, comment on the um, link to um, bring them on and um, we'll bring them on the show as well. So yeah, we've got a few good guests lined up. I'm hopefully going to confirm a good one for tomorrow. Yeah, Dennis McCann, he's meant to be on today's. Um, I don't know if he's forgotten. He might have done. He might have forgotten. Um, if he has, not to worry. We can get him on tomorrow. But um, hopefully. But um, yeah. Dennis McCann will be coming on at some point. Very good fighter. Very talented. Um, doing great stuff down the... Uh, is it Queen's Bureau Box it's called now? Um, in Bromley. He's doing very good stuff. Looks very, very good. I think, was he only 19 years old? It's crazy to think where he could be. I know he's looking for a step up. I saw a statement he did with the MTK, um, um, I think an interview he did with the MTK, and uh, he said he wants to fight Prince Patel in his next fight, that'd be a nice little fight. I know that obviously it's expected for Dennis to destroy him, and he probably will, but I mean it's a good step up in opponent. I mean he's thought at least the guy that's going to come to him, which would be good and interesting to see where he's at. If there's any amateur or pros guys, just send a request in and we'll get you on. Um, it's important that you guys do get behind the Global Green CBD oil page. It's been helping out. You've probably seen the post on Travelers Boxers page. Get behind that, guys. They're doing very good things in the sport. Very good. I've heard people firsthand say how good the uh, thing is for them as well, like how it's important that it's helped them with their muscle injuries and whatnot as well. So, um, thanks, mate. Thanks. Appreciate the comments. Appreciate the comments. So, if, um, like I said, guys, if you... Comment below what you've done in the amateurs or pros and then send a request in so I have an, bit of an idea of what you've done and stuff. And then we can bring you on. So yeah, send a request in guys and we'll bring you on. Um, yeah, it's doing good things. We're going to have some great guests on this show. I think we've got someone on here. I'm going to send a, send a request in guys. <clears throat> Come on the live. It'd be good to... um. Do the interviews on here. So I think Dennis McCann's in it now, actually. If you could send a request, be good. But yeah. Um, yeah, Global Green CBD. Dennis is coming on now. What's up, man? What's up, man? What's going on, man? What's going on? Yeah, I'm all good, you? Yeah, all good, mate. You just finished just training every day, haven't you? Yeah, I've been training hard for the whole lockdown, but I fucking I caught a lot of flights, didn't I? Like, I'm a bit on antibiotics till um till Monday, so I I, I kept training with, with uh, being ill, and he was going mad, so uh, he made me start at the gym till Monday. He's killing me. Right, Honestly, Happy I'm fit. I've been training for the whole lot, and as fit as a fiddle. Yeah, yeah. I'm ready How, to fight what, now. So what's your weight at, at the moment? You look like you're still pretty much new on fight weight, aren't you? Or not? I'm not too far off it, to be honest. Not too far off it. Yeah. I'm um I've been training so so hard though on the cigar I'm fit as a fiddle. Yeah. I reckon I'm definitely a fit as a fiddle of all the boxers. Yeah. Definitely. I was gonna I was gonna, I was gonna ask a quick question there. So what, like when are you expecting to be out? I know that um there was rumours of you potentially being out next month or 
yeah, directly the last show. I blocked that for the I I underscore now just just hiding from the from the thing that he's talking. Just saying some stupid stuff. Yeah. What, what let me do? So there, there was also there was also news um, today that uh, from the British Boxing Board of Control that you can start sparring again now as well. I mean, there's, I know there's like precautions you've got to take. To be honest, I was there. I've been sparring. I've been sparring for a while. Anyway. I've been sparring for quite a while. To be honest, I'm my gaff. Yeah, yeah, that's what we like. <laughs> that's what we like here. That's what we like here. I see that um, you're interested in fighting Prince Patel or that Ryan Walker as well, right? They won't fight. Though, they won't fight. I'm trying, trying to get. Trying to get in the fight, uh, Ryan Walker reckons when he gets a title, they give me the opportunity. I'll give him the opportunity, he means, but he won't fight. No, I mean, I know that uh, Dennis Walker said some shit on Twitter a while ago, didn't he? Ryan like, Walker, yeah. Yeah, he don't want to just, uh, I don't think he wants, he just, he just don't want that at all. No more than I spared him before in that as well, so I don't yeah, think yeah. he wants it, does he? Yeah, is that? What, I know you said before that there was someone that offered the wanted seven figures. I'm assuming is that Prince Patel. Then I'm assuming that's, that's Prince Patel, as we all know, mate. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I assume just by what you said there. Was gonna be, yeah. <laughs> you know, it would be him, wouldn't you? So, so what's the so it, like, for when you do next go out? Who realistically are you expect him to be in against? I mean, I try to fight Martin Hillman. He said no as well. He's got a good record, like for, for me, and the mate's got 20 fights, I think 16 wins, and he, uh, I think he turned it down as well. Yeah. It's the way it but, me. Didn't you want to fight Ricky Little as well, wasn't it, or something? Ricky Little, he said no as well. He's this Southern area kind of thing with MO fighters, isn't he? So, yeah. He said, he said no. He said no. That's it. No, he said. I can get money that he's never had before, and he still said no. So what is it you're looking? What kind of level are you looking to step up against? Like, to the English level? I'm not saying to fight for an English title, but the, the guys around that kind of level. Yeah, around that level, to be honest. I'd fight all the domestically kids for now. And... um which would be good, good for me on record as well, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, I, I look, think... I look better. The better opposition I fight, the better I fight. It's as simple as that. Yeah. Obviously, you were out very like, frequently before, obviously, in the sense that you were fighting almost like, every other month. So has it done you a bit of good, maybe having a bit of a break for your body in that as well? Or... It has, definitely, because I feel low a lot more in that as well. But it's, it's a bit annoying, to be honest, because me, I'm cons- I don't stop training, you know what I mean? I'm very, very dedicated I don't yeah. leave the gym, even though I was sick the other day. I didn't feel, I didn't, I didn't feel strong. I felt a bit weak, to be honest. And uh, I felt very, very tired. And I'm still training mega hard. Do you know what I mean? Telling them that I'm 100 percent right. I'm sparring and stuff. And I'm just, I'm not 100 percent right. If I'm being honest, you can, you can even tell by the look at me. You know what I mean? Yeah. Don't feel too well. But I should, Monday, I bet I should be all right. I have to have about five days off. And to be honest, I swear to God, it's absolutely killing me. I feel like going out now. Even though I don't feel well and I'm going for a run now, it's annoying me. Yeah. It's annoying the hell of me. So, also, like, um, with, without having, like, a fight day in concrete, has it been hard to stay focused, like, training and stay on the weight, or...? In the beginning, it was. Weight is always hard, because I'm, 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 I'm really big, you know what I mean? I really feel out as well. I'm really, really big. Um, block that sausage, really, that oi oi new. Block him. Yeah. Block that fella, that fella, oi oi. Wait, what's that? The keys are on the, on the live, block him. Oh, wait, is it? Which one is he? His name is I, I underscore now, just block him, fool. You always get some fools in there. There you go. Yeah. 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 I am, um, to be honest, I feel that a lot more. I'm so, so strong. I'm, I'm not just saying it as well, honest to God. I've been, been knocking out kids, like, honest to God, on their feet. I'm inspired, like, welterweights, lightweights, hurting them. Honest to God, I've been inspired, I've been spinning. I've been punching so, so hard lately, it's actually scary, to be honest. Yeah. Very, um, honestly, scary power I have lately. I, I think this year has been a lot of serious knockouts. Yeah. No, 100%, 100%. Another thing I did want to go on to, so I know that he spoke very highly about you in the past, um, Tyson Fury. It's obviously always good to hear that from, obviously, probably the number one yeah. in the world right now. Um, but he's obviously been rumoured to be fighting... Um, Anthony Joshua early next year, obviously. I know they said there's an agreement, but obviously I know the agreement isn't an actual like fight date or whatnot. Yeah. What's your thoughts on that fight and the outcome of it as well? I think Fury, I'm not just saying this because I'm a traveller myself and uh, I think Joshua's a nice guy as well. But I absolutely think Fury's going to dominate him man. round seven, round eight. He might, might stop him, but he guarantee win. I think it's a guarantee win. Um, I'm not a gambler. I don't bet at all, but I think I'm going to stick a few quid in that one as well.
Yeah. Uh, I respect Vera a lot, to be honest. He says some kind words to me every time I fight. He's sitting ringside, cheering me on every time. You know what I mean? So he's a, he's a proper gentleman. And most of us travelers will, will sit together. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, do you think if Fury is to beat Joshua, let's just say it's a two-fight deal um, as well, and he does it both times, and obviously beats Wilder if the third fight does happen, do you think he has to go down as like a top five all-time great as heavyweight? I think or... he's all-time great now, but I think definitely, yeah, if he beats them two, he's definitely all-time great, isn't he? I... Uh... I think he's, he's I think one of the greatest. I know it sounds silly, but I think he's one of the greatest heavyweights of all times. Yeah, he just seems to pull every, pull every, just pull it off every time. He pulls it off every time, in fashion. Yeah. So, uh, how can he be a great? He's got. He's. A, yeah. I think he's an icon, icon of England. To be honest, I think he's a serious, yeah. serious fighter. I mean, it's serious only fan. now that people see that as well. Because when he beat Klitschko, I, I know that he said obviously some controversial things back then, but. Um, He's like showing his true character. Like even the lives he does every day, you see people how they say it keeps them going, like during hard times and and whatnot as well, which is obviously good. Definitely, I, I, I'm, I'm to be honest, I've, I've been tipped that I'm on the next on the car, the Fury on the car as well. So yeah, I'm yeah, sure yeah. yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. Jonathan Haggerty as well, top class fighter. Yeah. Like, what did you say there? Cut out a bit Big there. shout, out to Jonathan Haggerty, top class fighter. Oh yeah, nice one, nice. Uh, again, yeah, with good, uh, should be in the camera. It should be top class. Again, with the behind um, closed door shows. Uh, when so obviously, if when you are next out, surely it's gonna. Um, you're not gonna be out as often as you would have been, but before and as well, because I'm, I don't know how. Because where there's only five um, fights on a card, obviously there's not the space for fighters, especially with Frank that has a lot of fighters signed and new fighters all the time as well. Listen, you know me. I can I can fight. If I want to, I can fight every, five times. If yeah. I want to, you know what I mean. I can fight every single one of them shows if I really wanted to. Yeah. Um. I think I'm personally, in my opinion, and a lot of people's opinion, I think probably Frank's one of his best fighters, if not the best, in my opinion. Yeah. And uh, he's doing a very, very good job of me, for being honest. He's doing a very good job of me. But um, I won't be out too often now because uh, number one. Right now, I'm at 100%. But I'll be at the last, I'm going to leave to the last show. I've still got seven, eight weeks. You know what I mean, I'm fit as a fiddle now. I'm, I'm literally ready to, raging to go now. If I was on way, I, I could fight tomorrow. Yeah. And I'm not just saying that there. I'm just going fit as a fiddle. I'm yeah, fit yeah. As a gym. I'm the fittest kid in the whole gym. Fit as a fiddle. And I cannot wait to get in that ring and just showcase my skills once again. Do you not think the problem with stepping up a bit too much too soon as well? See where you're quite young. You're like, when you fight at a certain level, you have to always stay at level or go higher. So almost like if you step up to like, well, let's just say you, you, you surpass English level at some point soon as well, and you go up to like British, European level, then you've got to stay at that level and have hard fights at a young age. No, but realistically, you'd be in this sport for at least another 15, 16 years anyway. No, 100%. You're out right. But I think I'm British level now. I'd, I'd, I'd wipe, wipe the floor with it if I really wanted to. Yeah. But I just want to gain me experience. Uh, I've only been in the pro game long. I'm only young. I've still got a lot of time. These fighters are rushing because... They're, they're old, you know what I mean? I'm 19 years of age. I'm a baby in the sport, to say. I punch yeah. like a man. I fight like a man. I'm knocking men out and sparring. Literally knocking the spark out and sparring. And, and thank God, I'm just starting to that recently. And, and I never, I, I've never used to be able to do it before. I never as an amateur. I stopped a few, but I never uh, could, I never knocked someone out or nothing. You know what I mean? I'm a very low weight. And it's, it's a very, very rare thing to do. I know it's only sparring, but that's why I want to start bringing it into the ring now, isn't it? No, hundred percent. So, um, what is is everyone expected to be back at like the Queen's? Uh, well, the Queen's VI box now back soon. Is everyone going to be back in? How's, how's it going to work? Everyone's back in the gym. Everyone's back in the gym. Everyone's been working hard. All of us fighters have been working on the way through. To be honest, Al's got us working on the way through. You know, yeah, Al, they yeah. won't give, won't give you an inch, really. Yeah, yeah, no, hundred percent, hundred percent. Even the strength coach and that Ricky McFarlane, like, he's been like, FaceTime me on the zooms on the Zoom things, yeah. doing the strength conditioning. As everyone can see, I'm, I'm I'm quite big at the moment, really strong, and uh, he's done a great job with me as well. So it's all good, man. It's all good in the head. Hundred percent. That's what we like to hear. Well, thanks for coming on, Dennis. It's good to have you on. I'll leave you too. Whatever you got to do this evening, anyway. Cheers, bro. Thank you very um, much. Yeah. Okay, see you soon. Take it easy. See ya, mate. Bye. Uh, great to hear from Dennis there. Without doubt, one of the uh, top talents in the country right now. I don't think many people can really argue that either. Um, Looks like he's really coming on a lot as well, improving all the time in his fights. I mean, you would do with the great team he has down at the Ibox as well. 
and um, Frank's pushing him very well. Um, I just want to say a quick thanks to Global Green CBD um, Oil as well, who uh, who helped um, put these lives on for us and um, uh, really supporting the page. And they actually generally do do very good vitamins and obviously CBD oil as well. I mean, it's um, used by lots of top pro athletes and that as well. Very good for back pain and whatnot. So definitely check that out because all I seem to hear about it is very good things. So great to have Dennis on today, wasn't it, guys? Um, Make it a wilder event. Oh, man, nice one. Thanks for that, Zach. Brilliant. Thanks, that, mate. Um, so, yeah, um, take care, everyone. Um, we will have more um, travelling fighters announced for the next few days, which will be really good, um, to get on the lies and find out what they've been doing on lockdown and whatnot and seeing um, if they've managed to stay in shape and stuff as well will be quite good. But, um, yeah, so thanks for tuning in, guys. Massive thanks to Global Green CBD. Oh, no, I don't own this page. Uh, a great gentleman does that provides a lot for travellers' boxing, um, travellers' boxers. Um, he's a great guy. Puts often a lot of money from his own pocket in this as well, which is good because he supports his own. Get a fan on. Um, okay, we can get a fan on. Um, we will put on Andy Price. Let's, let's get Andy Price on. Oh, I know he was joined. Someone sent a request, but I accept it. I'm accepting it. They're saying unable to join, Andy Price. Anyone else want a... Um, no, I don't own the page. Like I said, a, a nice gentleman um, does. That uh, puts a lot of money in his own pocket in here. But I'm, uh, no, I don't, I'm afraid. But here we go. Let's add Ryan Turner. Yo! What's going on? All right, man, mate. How you doing? Good, man. Yourself? Yeah, spot on, man. What are you up to? <laughs> Finally home from the Netherlands after three months of quarantine. Just chilling with my girls. Yeah. Hello, hello, everyone. Hello. Say hello. Yeah. How's it going? How's it going? So, yeah. All good, all good. Yeah, yeah, mate. Uh, difficult times, whatnot. But, yeah, it's one of those things. Hey, big boxing fan then, yeah? Ah, uh, a boxing fan, I wouldn't call it big, but the big fights I'm in on it. I keep an eye on Dennis, like. Yeah. Tyson Fury. Yeah, always. The Gypsy King, and um, yeah, hopefully no, Joe Thomas as well, of course. I mean, yeah, that's what he says. He'll, he'll put AJ in the ground. Yeah? Yeah, million percent. Can't wait. Great fight. Can't get some proper announcements on it, wouldn't it? So they get really excited. Yeah, yeah. What he done? What he done to Deontay Wilder was ridiculous. I know it's one of those. It's one of those fights that will go down the ages. That like you tell your grandkids about. You know, yeah, yeah. I couldn't believe it, man. I was watching it in the Netherlands. Just every two minutes, I just was like, "What? The? Insane!" No, it was mental. Absolutely mental. And it just goes to show you, like, what you can achieve by putting your mind to something and then putting up on something. Doesn't it? Yeah, definitely, man. Definitely. 100%. Is there any other fights that you would like to see at the minute? Or... I'd like to see Dillian White get his shot at Wilder. Yeah. Yeah, well, I, think, I, think, I, think, I think the way, I think the way Dillian's managed is all wrong, to be honest. Where, where Wilder hasn't got the WBC title, I don't see why White should fight him now, because where he's fighting Wilder is still a very tough and dangerous fight in the sense that um, Wilder still punches the hardest in the division, and at the end of the day, Dylan White gets caught a lot as well, unfortunately. And, and, yeah, um, true, true. I just think, if you, what's the point in saving all that time to wait and, and fighting all these people to get your final your shot at world title? And now you're going to fight a guy who hasn't got a belt. Who is? Yeah, yeah. The thing, the thing with me, I think, I think Dillian's all is managed all wrong. He should, he should be given chances at the likes of Tyson Fury. He should, he should, he should have AJ again as well. Now, now that he's, he's a bit more, that left hook is, is deadly. Not, not many people still from that left. I really want to see White against Tyson Fury because I, I think that would just be very similar to Fury fighting Jazora um, the second time. Yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously, Tyson Fury is, is levels above in that aspect, I think. I just, I'd like to see Dillian get his chance. He's, he's always up there. He'll fight anyone. He's, no, you know, he's... I would like to see Dylan against Joshua. I think that's the fight that where where they don't like each other, where they've got that history before, where they had a very good fight before, and where um, Dylan White is beating AJ and Yamich as well. I think that fight makes a lot more sense rather than Fury fight. No, rather than Dylan White fighting Fury. Just because the thing is, I want to see Dylan White go in there with a fair shot. I just think against Fury, otherwise, I think it's just a nightmare for him, really. 
Yeah, yeah. So. It is. It, I know. That's, I know what you're saying. Anyway. Yeah. Hundred percent. All right. right well, uh, nice to speak to you, mate. Look after yourself. You too, mate. Take care, then. All right, mate. Take care. Yeah. Great to have him on. Um, many boxing fans as possible. Um, but like I want to say again, guys, thanks for everyone tuning in. We're gonna. I think we'll do that a bit more actually. Maybe every time we have a pro boxer on, we'll have a fan on as well. I think it'd be quite good to get their opinions and what's going on at boxing at the moment. Um, I don't think White just wants a payday. He gets enough paydays against fighting people up the Vetkin and that. I don't think he just wants a payday. I think he wants um, a shot. And he's earned a shot at the world title. He has. He has. You have to put. You have to say maybe. He's got the best resume outside the world champions, without a doubt. So, he really does deserve his shot. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I want to say again, massive thanks to Global Green CBD Oil. Check them out. Best vitamins and best CBD oil all around. And um, they're actually supporting a lot of pro athletes and that as well, which is really good. And they support this page. So, for that alone, we should be checking them out. So, check them out, guys, and take care. And um, enjoy your evening.